In this video we are going to continue with the precast add-in software and we are going to learn how to do wall panels. The add-in software does allow you to create the door and window openings themselves by just you having them in the architectural model but the way we've created our walls those doors and openings for windows are already in there so we won't go through that process but I wanted you to know that that was a possibility one of the first things I want to do is I want to add a foundation wall around the perimeter here the foundation wall needs to be added because we need to attach the wall panels to the foundation walls so I'm going to go to my structure tab and I'm going to go to wall and I'm going to go to wall structural and I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to pick my foundation 12 inch concrete. I'm going to edit that because my wall is actually wider than 12 inches so I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to make it 14 inches because that is the thickness of my wall. I have to remember to go into the structure to also change that to 14 inches and I'm going to say okay and say okay and now I want to make sure that the top constraint is up to level one and the base constraint I don't need that wall to go negative 12 feet so I'm gonna make it like negative three feet and then I have my up to level one which is unconnected at three feet so now I should be able to go to my level one plan and grab my wall and I'm basically going to use the wall exterior finish face and I'm going to start here at my panel and I'm going to go around the perimeter I'm not going to worry about my interior walls at this point I'm just going to worry about my exterior walls and then I should be completed so again I always want to go and look at this in my 3d view and I can see my foundation there and that looks to be correct I always like to go to my section and check it and if I check it it is correct so we are ready to proceed now with doing our walls so the tool that we are going to use is called smart walls and you'll see you have some decomposed walls wall gaps split walls and gravity point so if I pick on split walls you'll see I have a split wall menu if I go to my split settings you see I have like distance from core face I have split by openings windows distance from the window minimum window width doors generic openings system openings and some other options I'm going to close that for now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my wall and I'm going to use split selected by maximum spacing with this tool it makes the panels all about the same size but they are not over the maximum size if I zoom in you will see it actually makes gaps between the panels which is how precast panels are made and if I click under wall gaps over here you'll see I can actually make some modifications here so again I can set the configuration by wall type wall modification configuration disallow joins allow joins change the gap distance to default shorten picked wall end. if I click on gap configuration by wall type it's going to bring up my gap type you can see that if I select my precast wall type right now I don't have a gap distance but I can come in and set that and I'm gonna set it for three quarters of an inch and say okay and now I should have a three-quarter inch gap most of the time in precast we typically want to split our panels at our window openings or our door openings the reason for this is that is a place that they tend to crack on their own there is another way we can split our panels we can use split in the center of openings and again if I pick my wall and I pick split in the center of openings you'll see it's split there then I can go back and I can go back to my split selected by maximum and pick that panel and it will go ahead and split them again so I have some flexibility on how I do this 
so I can continue to do that until I have the entire wall split the way that I want it. One thing I want to look at is how these panels are joined here at the end. If I go to my level one plan, you can see that it basically just mitered that corner. That's not typically the way that precast panels adjoin each other. So one thing I can do is I can select both walls and I can do disallow joins and you'll see it separated this wall from this wall and again it put a gap in it and that is one way that is typically done. There is another way I can do this and it's by shorten picked wall in. So if I do that and I pick this wall, again it created the gap there so I can control which way and where the gap is at. If I picked the other wall, it would have put the gap over here. So I have that flexibility by using those two tools. So say I want to also put in a horizontal gap because a lot of times we like to do that sort of thing. So I'm going to go to my south elevation and what I can do is I can select these panels. I'm gonna select every other one because I'm gonna make my horizontal pattern change. And over here I have split horizontally by levels. So I'm going to pick that. And then it brings up my box and I have to pick which levels I want. So I'm gonna have it go ahead and split at level two and the roof and I'm gonna say okay. So now if I zoom in, you can see now they are split horizontally. So let's say I want to, the opposite ones, I want them to split in between there. I'm going to and again, there's a couple different ways to do it, but I'm just gonna add an intermediate level here and I'm not gonna worry about what the, the height of it is. And I'm gonna add another one here. And once I create these, I can also just hide them if I don't wanna see these levels in my drawings. Now I'm going to select the ones that I did not pick before. And I'm going to again split horizontally by levels and this time the last two I added was level four and level five and I'm gonna say okay so now it should have split them in a different location than it did my other ones so now if I go to my 3d view you can see that they're split but I forgot to put the gap in there so I need to to do that there you can see it if I go back to my hidden line so you can vary how you break up them horizontally, you can vary how you break up them vertically. You can take this even further and you can go in and add openings into panels. A lot of times you need to be able to run some electrical out through that panel, maybe even some ductwork or some plumbing to connect it to something else. So again, with this software you can go in and you can make an opening in a panel, you can modify a panel um, individually. There are lots and lots of choices. In the next video, we will be talking about connections of panels. And then in the final video, we will be looking at the shop drawing process with precast panels.